All right. Oh, fuck. Let me fix this a little bit too much. All right. There we go. <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all. I know. I, I'm on here like what? Four minutes late? My bad. All right. Technical, di ugh, technical difficulties going on over here. All right. So, y'all already know what it is. Top boys and trending topics with T. Got a... Got some decent topics to talk to y'all about. And y'all still have, excuse me, I'm still trying to work through my technical difficulties because my dang on tablet don't want to fucking work right now. And, uh, too fucking much, y'all. Too fucking much. Just give me a second. All right, so I'm going to try to do this and work with what I got. So first off, uh, let's go ahead and uh, start with uh, condolences. Like I said, we did lose... um. You finally got the Periscope on time? All right. Well, that's good. Like I said, I'm start, like I said, I started late today. It's, it's one of those days. It's okay. So condolences. Um, rest in peace to uh, David Bowie. Like I said, lost him this week. And y'all know that I am a free spirit and everything else. And I like to act upon food. And I like people who are individuals. And he was definitely that. So like I said... He was a legend in his own right. And knew how to... Well, hey, now... Nah. And I uh, knew how to reinvent himself. So, uh, happy Sunday to you too. So, I said, rest in peace to uh, David Bowie. Because <sighs> like I said, y'all know I, I try to get the heavy stuff out the way first before we get into the ratchet stuff. So, moving on. So, uh, J. Anthony Brown. <clears throat> Still cold over there, huh? All right. It's, 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 it's warming up over here, but it's whatever. So, uh, J. Anthony Brown, Tom, Tom Joyner Morning Show. So, allegedly he quit. And I'm saying allegedly because, like I said, we have the audio. The audio is floating around the internet. I've actually listened to the audio. And, um, you know, it's just the way that it all played out where it's just like you kind of had some of them giggling and whatnot. But, I mean, he quit during a commercial break. And, like, soon after doing that, he retweeted uh, some tweets that somebody else had already put out and even is hyping his uh, uh, weekend talk show. Well, here's the thing. You know, did he quit? Yes, but I don't think either, A, this is just, like, we you, we won't know until tomorrow. Now, I don't watch, I got, I'm sorry, I don't tune into the uh, Tom Jordan morning show, so I don't know. This is one of those where, again, everybody's going to have to wait until tomorrow and see if he's back on air, you know, and I don't know. It's one of those things where it's just like, you know, did he quit? Well, did he quit? Yes, but did he quit? I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see more to come. Well, a lot of people really aren't, and I've seen a lot of people saying that it's because of Jay Anthony that um, they even watch it because he makes the show tolerable. So, we'll see. So, let's go ahead and move over to some love and hip-hop, shall we? So, um, Yandy and Mendeez's, Lord, Lord, Lord. Whew. Yandy is at it again. Is that it again? She, well, for those of you who do not know, if I'm not mistaken, I think it is the 19th, either the 17th or the 19th, I'm pretty sure it's the 19th, when DC is supposed to pretty much give himself up and, you know, pretty much go off to prison. Well, Yandy, 17th, okay, and Yandy felt so inclined to not only throw him a going away party, but publicize that she was doing it. I'm just trying to figure out where the fuck we do this shit at on some real shit so you want to sit here and throw this man a going away party you couldn't just i mean you couldn't do what regular people do <laughs> when he was on air you know like i'm just trying to like you know couldn't you have just had a, a dinner you know just invited some motherfuckers over you know everybody say they condolences you put the pussy on his lips one more good time and then you send the motherfucker away no no you don't want to do it you just want to sit here and throw a motherfucking party Make them last minute call. I'm trying to figure out how, to, like, unless she charged people to get into the motherfucking party. Like, I don't get it. Like, I am well past confused. Okay. Yeah, we, you know, we're going to have to do another one soon. We're going to have to do another one soon. Oh, they was charged. Okay. 
All right, even if I was in motherfucking New York, you a, you ain't finna. Hell no. Hell, my money can go to way better shit. Way better shit. I don't know. What, like, what y'all think about that? That shit literally just had me fucking perplexed. Like, I'm just like, so you throwing this motherfucker a going away party for what? You know what? I, 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 I have nothing. I really have nothing. You know, like, I don't even have a fucking read for the ass. Like, I ain't got shit. It's just fucking stupid. You know, and even her trying to talk about wanting to move into a bigger place and all this other shit. But you want to sit here and throw a fucking party. You know what I'm saying? You want to sit here and continue to talk about having time with your family. Then why don't you have time with him and keep all outside people away? Hey. Hey. I know. I know how to ask mess. So, moving on to another uh, topic. And this is this might be a little touchy. I'm going to just need y'all to rock with me. Okay. We can have some dialogue with this. So, if I'm not mistaken, this is, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. So, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, there is a school that uh, is um, going to be open. It's called uh, Pride School Atlanta. It's supposed to be opening um, in September of this year. It's supposed to be uh, grades uh, K through 12, $13,000 tuition. And it's supposed to pretty much be for, you know, children who, I'm, I guess, already know at a young age that, you know, they are, you know, LG, you know, part of the LGBTQ community. And when I heard about it, I'm, I kind of had mixed feelings about this, to be completely honest. You know, one, okay, so kindergarten to, you know what I'm saying? 12th grade and typically in kindergarten you in between the ages of four and six somewhere right there i'm like okay i think that's a bit early for that one two and here's the thing don't don't uh, actually let me say this before i go any further because i really don't want and i was gonna bring it up too but let me say this both football because i don't want nobody to sit here and think oh here you go i don't care that this school exists you feel what I'm saying? Like I said, we got Catholic schools. We have Jewish schools. We have all this schools. We have all that school. So I'm not against the existence of the school. But yes, you know, you have everybody in a centralized location. So now, you know, granted, yes, there's going to be a lot of attention on it. And, you know, it's going to bring both good and bad publicity. But yes, you have everybody in one place. People can sit here and attack this one place. And... At the same exact time, it's just like, in my opinion, if if all of you, because their whole thing is the school is so the children can express themselves however they so choose, which I'm totally fine with. But what really is getting me is you're sheltering these children, completely sheltering them and giving them a false reality. You know, yes, I, and I trust me. Children should be able to go to school and learn without, you know, any type of discrimination. But at the same exact time, it's not prepping them for the real world. It's not prepping them for the real world. Because what's going to happen, they stay in this shelter school. Hey, hey. Um, but, I mean, but even but regardless of all of that, it's just, you put these, like, let's just say, for instance, if, you know, your child knows at five years old, you know that, you know, they're gay. It is what it is. Okay, cool. You put them in this school for 12 years. Okay, Ashley, that would be more 13. 13 years. And then now what? They've been sheltered. So now they go off to college. And now they get a taste of real fucking life. They're going, like... Because they're probably not going to be there. I mean, they'll have it, you know, in their day to day interactions, but they're truly going to, you know, feel what the real world is and people attacking them, this, that, and the third. I'm not against the school, but I, I mean, they, they really do need to be ready for the real world. Like, like I said, I mean, I'm definitely not against it, you know, but I mean, can, starting at kindergarten, that right there, I'm a little iffy about, but hey, it is what it is. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. You know, I don't know. This is one of those where I'm, I, 
I'm having a very unsure day today. Normally, I be going smooth the hell out. I don't know what is wrong with me. I'm off today, y'all. I'm off, but that's also because I'm actually about to hit the gym up and I'm I'm actually nervous. Y'all know, like I said, y'all know about my weight loss and everything. And like I said, the program, like I actually started today and I'm still sitting here scarfing down fucking protein and shit. But whatever, whatever. But let's get into some interesting shit. So Jocelyn Hernandez and Stevie J. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, <laughs> y'all got me on camera blushing. Stop that. Um, so apparently Jocelyn Hernandez has damaged over $65,000 worth of Stevie J's property. Uh, let me see. I think they said it was uh, China. It was uh, some of his shoes. She cut up some of his shit, tore shit, bleached some of his, like literally went off. Now, it happened because, I mean, you know, they actually have not footage of her doing it, but like the aftermath. So it happened. And we've seen Jocelyn snap on camera, you know, so we, we know she has that fire inside of her. But it makes me wonder. Now, before I talk about what makes me wonder, I should also mention that this all happened because he has been in the studio a lot with Faith Evans. So, you know, I guess she feels that he's cheating or something like that. When in all reality, he's trying to make that money. You know what I'm saying? Apparently $65,000 of uh, property damage. So... But I have to give them the side eye ever so slightly because I think a lot of this is being played up because you know that their show airs next week. Is it next week that it airs? Yeah, I believe it's next week their show airs. So it's almost just like, and that's what I'm thinking that, you know, this is all being trumped up to make people want to go watch the show, which I'm going to watch it anyway. But I'm just like, this shit is fucking crazy. It is insane. I don't know. Like I said, part of me is just like, well, Jocelyn has been known to do some crazy shit. But at the same exact time, is that is, is you know, kind of convenient that they have a show airing next week. But it is what it is. The damage is the damage. So, but uh, Stevie J is allegedly saying that he is done with his estranged wife. So we'll see how that goes. Ah, uh, well, you know what? Hey, starting next Monday, Mondays ain't, has never been more than that shit. And I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. Might not review it, but I'm going to watch it. So. Ooh, mm, mm, don't, mm, don't do that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Hey, like I said, I'm just here to report. See, my tablet still don't want to fucking work today. I... I'm just have I swear I'm having an off day, y'all. I'm having an off day. <laughs> I like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do a review of it or not. And I mean, as I've told you guys, January is a this has been a rough month for me already. It's been rough between work and everything else. Like if y'all been watching my YouTube channel, if y'all if y'all pay attention to a lot of videos, you will see that I'm wearing the same exact shit in you know videos here and there, here and there, here and there because I while I was on leave, I sat down and pre-recorded a lot of these videos because I knew that I was going to be busy, and hell, I'm still busy. <laughs> like because when I get done, like just today, I'm just busy alone. Cause after I get done doing this quick tangent, when I'm done doing this video, for to hit up the gym, get done with that, still for to do my walk, come back. Get cleaned up, do laundry and whatnot, clean up, actually, no, come back, cook lunch and dinner, all that good jazz, eat that, sit down, watch the households, do reviews on that, like, your boy's just booked. But anyway, enough about me. Caitlyn Jenner. All right. First and foremost, I did not watch I Am Kate, did not watch that shit, refused to. But uh, you know it's coming back for season two. I have not watched the trailer, but I got the I got the little tea that I need to give you guys this right here. So apparently, by the um trailer, Caitlin is saying that you know I guess uh um, no longer will no Caitlin will no longer I, I bet will no longer date women. Been there, done that. Three wives. Now, it's up in the air if Caitlyn is going to start dating men. 
But yeah, and it's one of those where I just want to address Chris. <laughs> bravo, bravo! I swear she 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 is one of the biggest pimps there is. She be pimping, she be pimping, and pimping, and she's doing a good job at it too. Oh, she, oh, she a pimp? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She she a pimp? Yep. Like, cause I and that to even I guess have him, uh, Caitlyn saying that in the uh, I guess the promo. Oh my gosh, Caitlyn! Caitlyn doesn't want to date women anymore. Does K does Caitlyn want to date men? Oh my gosh, let me watch. I'm not watching, but you know what I'm saying. Child, I'm confused too. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not watching it. So if y'all watch it, y'all just let me know. I won't be watching. But again, I just want to report that. Interesting news. Go ahead, Chris. Hope you're getting that money. That's your money. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, Molly O'Malia. The girl that uh, had a little press conference and that was coming for Tyga. Well, another rapper by the name of Bobo, Bobo Norco, I think that's his name. Pretty much, uh, I'm not going to say leaked, but released uh, the uh, messages exchanged between the two of them. Because she was hitting him up, trying to, you know, uh, I guess get music, get beats and whatnot. Uh, she claimed that she was 18. And then even went so far as to say to him, what do I have to do to get your attention? And like, and because because here's the thing, ain't, ain't, ain't nobody sticking up for Tiger, nothing like that. But this right here says a lot about this particular female. It's spe like so you go from this one to that one, and you put yourself out there in such a way where it's like you really didn't think that it was gonna surface, especially if you enter if you try to contact someone else. And I'm pretty sure these aren't the only two rappers that she's tried to contact. But as we all know, where there's smoke, there's fire. So more is going to come from this. I mean, like I said, the biggest question is, where the fuck is her mama? That's my question. Where the fuck is your mama that you doing all this shit and that you are this attached to fucking social media? Where the fuck is your mama? That's all I want to know. That's it. Sir, uh, let's go ahead and I have, I have to go to my phone now. I have to go ahead and go to my email. And now... The last little bits that we're going to talk about. So for those of you who are not aware, Jada Pickett Smith had quite a bit to say about the Oscars. Huh. Okay. So Jada Pickett took to uh, Twitter to say at the Oscars, people of color are always welcome to give out awards, even entertain. But we are rarely recognized for our artistic accomplishments. Should people of color refrain from participating altogether? Part two. People can only treat us the way in which we allow with much respect in the midst of deep disappointment. Part three. So my question to you guys is, ooh, <laughs> Well, I mean, if she so chooses, if she so chooses, but because like I said, all of this has stemmed from that no uh, person of color has been nominated in any category, whether it be director, writer, actor, nothing, no nods. And people are, for what is worth an up, uproar, I can't talk today. I personally am not because I don't fucking watch the Oscars. I really don't fucking care. Get out move a campaign. <laughs> well, like I said, I mean, she had her Twitter fingers, but it's one of those where I would like for her, if she's going to talk about it, like talk about it, like physically get in front of a camera and sit down and express her concerns. You feel, you feel what I'm saying? But I don't know. It is what it is. I mean, but to my understanding, I think she's the only one. I got you. Uh, but I think that she's the only one that has spoken out about it. I didn't know that. Did not know that. Okay. 
Oh, because of Will Mooney. Hey, sis. Stop. Okay. Like I said, I just wanted to report that. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't watch the Oscars either. That's why I'm just kind of like, mm. Now, let, now, now, let's get into some juicy shit. Let, let, let's get into some juicy shit. All right, so... To Sheena Arnold. Expose her cheating uh, husband. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, pretty much, Tashina found out that her husband was cheating. Now, the way Justin calls and Dr. Uh, okay. And uh, pretty much what she decided to do is, oh, she put this shit out there. Now, according to TMZ, what she did is she pretty much sent a group text to her family and friends. And do you know what it contained? Do you know what was in the motherfucking group text message? Motherfucking sex tape. Oh, Lord. I'm sitting here like, what the fuck? Is, is this what the fuck we doing? <laughs> on, on some real shit, I'm just like, because if that was me, I, I would have to sign out the fuck out to the... Like, why the fuck are you... Send to me a, a fucking, I don't want to, I don't want to see that. Like, that would have been, like, my whole fucking response. Like, what the fuck are we doing? The fuck? Like, I mean, I guess, hey, fuck, I'm going to put your ass out. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. Oh, okay. That could be, I was just like, child. And, you know, this is apparently what she said. It's been over between Rico and I. This is where uh, I part ways and all bets are off. And pretty much just say she don't understand why the motherfucker will be raw, will be fucking, you know, raw dog, you know. I'm just like, well, damn. Tell us how the fuck you really feel, you know. But, whew. All right, now. Hey, well, look at this way. At least... I, I know he'll have no fear in that. Or at least she didn't leak the sex tape. Well, actually, it wouldn't have been leaked. At least she didn't put the sex tape out online. You know what I'm saying? There's that. I mean, but you know, so, sometimes, you know, you got to hit him with the big payback. You know? So, so I mean, sometimes you got to put the shit out there. And, I mean, I can't be mad at her because, I mean, shit, we, like, I can't say we all, but I know some of us, we've been in, like, messy relationships and shit, we break up. And sometimes, hey, we hurt. And sometimes hurt people want to hurt people. I don't fucking know. But I read this shit and I sighed the fuck out of her. It's like, is this what the fuck we doing now? Like, like if you send it to family and friend, ah, okay. Well, I mean, we, we got a little bit left. We got a little bit left because I can't keep y'all very learned. Because like I say y'all know I gotta go to the gym and shit. You, I, and I understand just walk away, but it's just like I, I, I couldn't. I didn't know how to even react or respond to this. I'm just like, what? Oh shit! I know I had I, I, I did some drinking last night too. Here, I, I, mm, kind of a bad idea. Probably shouldn't have did it. Oh, it's out there? I mean, I'm not finna watch it, but what if? All right, what what else did I have in here? All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and talk about Nicki Minaj. So, she decides, uh, she, well, I don't even know how, okay. She was watching Teen Mom, the original uh, season, like the very, like, very first, I guess like the very first season, and she was watching, and she decided that she wanted to tweet about it, and she, and I, I'm, I'm gonna go down to tweets, because her and Farrah from Teen Mom got into it now, okay? We don't have to, but we gonna talk about it, we gonna, we gonna talk about it, because I, I want y'all to let me know who buried who. Did Nikki bury Farrah, did Farrah bury Nikki, but I, I also want to talk about this shit. <laughs> I know, but I also want to talk about this shit because Farrah did something that I thought was very, very, like, that it was tasteless. We'll get to it. So, Nikki says, Farrah is a cunt to her mother. Tweets after that. She was like, bitch, go do some porn and leave grandma alone. 
fair from Teen Mom. Again, I, I'm still trying because my thing is okay. We just, we gonna talk about it. Just, just give me a sec. Yeah, we all tired of Nick. Now here comes Fair. She was like, "Cause, you, cause you're not you are. So why oh you are?" And Nikki actually called out on this. So you're a parent, right? Your videos look like porn. Horrible. Good luck being negative. Hashtag God bless. Busy making TV. And um, Nikki replies, "Your mother didn't open her legs and have that child. Be happy. She's helping you. Stop talking to her like." that on TV you look cunt. And then she added Farrah. And then she said, in your case, hashtag big cunt. Then Farrah replied, you must really want attention. Talk about women with respect. It's Sunday. Stop watching reruns and go to church. Hashtag God bless. Now, Nikki said, instead of dragging your mother, learn the difference between your as in you are and your dingbat still trying to figure out where the fuck this shit came from now and then ferris says let's be let's okay to be clear my mom doesn't help me i help her i love and care for my mother stop disgusting talk at nikki oh, too much and then ferris says i slay i have no time for rerun watching ignorant minions like at nikki minaj worry about your family hashtag watch and learn with Pretty much at the bottom, it says, Wake, Pray, Slay. And then, Vera goes to Hollywood Life and says, Nikki has no room to talk about my family relationships, nor insinuate I'm a porn star, or I have, oh yeah, uh -huh, or I have no idea why she is insulting porn. Again, the scene had nothing to do with my sex tape, okay? Uh, and for her to talk about my daughter, my mother and be disgusting and get so I okay well, I no longer am a supporter of her music I have no intentions of wasting a further word on her keep watching my reruns and help your bro not rape people I want to stay away from her and her family that, that's one of those where it's like shut my mouth drop the mic walk away I mean, because I was like, well. So real quick, before I get to what upset me with uh, Farrah, who do y'all think for what is worth in this little bullshit Twitter beef? Who y'all think buried who? Oh, it's a lot of hit below the belt. But hey, I'm going to say this. All is fair in love and war. And I think Farrah gave her ass a solid one-two punch. Good punch that ass. Oh, it's a mess. It's a mess. But here's what really upset me the most with this. Yeah, I know, fair. And I, I knew, yeah, I, I mean, but here's the thing. Again, you know, going in on her parenting skills, talking about her mother and whatnot. I mean, it was one of those where it's just like she was begging for it. You know what I'm saying? You don't throw stones when you live in a glass house. Now, but here's the shit that got me. She then had, her, apparently her daughter has a motherfucking Instagram account. I don't know why. And pretty much put up a picture of her daughter. It says Barbie and Teen Mom OG and had her daughter at Nicki Minaj and say, stop, please stop saying bad words. That right there is what upset me. That's what pissed me off. I got it. She talking about the kid, you parents out and everything else, but what you don't do, never bring, first and foremost, because from what I read, Nikki really didn't say anything about her child, but she did get on her parenting skills. But as a parent, and I'm not a parent, but as a parent, when is it ever okay to involve your child in some grown people shit? And here's and and that's and and you bring your own baby into this. You have your baby log into her Twitter account, which I don't know why the fuck her baby got a Twitter account. Have her log into her own Twitter account, post a picture, and then at Nicki Minaj. So here is the thing. Here's the thing. If Nicki come back and start talking shit about her daughter on some real shit, Farrah can't say nothing. 
Farrah can't say a damn thing. I hope Nikki doesn't do it because you again, kids in general should always be off the limits. But the fact that Farrah brought her own child into this, I hope and pray they just leave this shit the fuck alone. I, Cause I will say, Farrah buried her ass, and you know what she put in that motherfucking magazine. It is what the fuck it is. I was just mad the moment she brought her child into this shit. That shit is very disgusting, and it is very fucking tasteless. And then you doing some shit like that, you're further somewhat proving Nikki to be right in essence of you being a horrible person and not a great mother. So before we wrap this up, because all I have left are you know the congratulations. How do y'all feel about that? I am am I wrong for feeling that she was wrong for bringing her daughter into some shit that had nothing to do with children? Am I wrong for thinking that way? If I'm wrong, y'all can let me know I'm wrong, okay? Or, or her lack thereof of a career, but yeah. You know, I mean, and by looking at it, the reality was, you know, thank you. you she, all she said was Farrah is a cunt. It could have been any motherfucking fair. It could have been, you know, fair from Destiny's Child way back when. It could have been any motherfucker. It could have been fair down the motherfucking street. Whatever. Like I said, eh. dumb weak bitches. Dumb weak bitches. All right, so let's end the video on a positive note. Because as I get done with this, for the drink and pre workout, go ahead and mose my ass over to the gym. About to get it in. Oh, about to get it in. Oh, what, cunt? That word? I mean, because here's the thing. I don't say that word. Again, I was just reading what, what they... Mm, mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, two quick congratulations. Now, with the last one, before I say it... Well, like I said, I just never say the word. Uh, but, I'm going to have to ask y'all... We, we, when I say... Because I got two congratulations. With the last one... I'm going to ask y'all to be respectful. Okay? Be respectful. So first, Empire has been picked up for a third season. So, you know, congrats to them. I hope when they come back for a mid-season, you know, premiere, um, that they pick it up because I ain't going to lie. They were struggling. They were struggling with this first half. Okay? But congrats for... Lord, but congrats to them for... Uh, getting picked up for a third season. And here's why I want y'all to be respectful. Ain't T. Patty is uh, dating. Okay? She is dating her uh, drummer. Patty LaBelle is 71 years old. Her drummer is 41. And he not only has uh, been a drummer for her, but for countless others. And he's currently on tour with Leila Hathaway. So... That's why I said be respectful, because I know we could. I know we all could sit here and go in on A.T. Patty. Okay. <laughs> That's the word. So, like I said, here's my whole thing. Patty just letting y'all ass know, no matter how old your ass is, you can still have and find love. Oh, yeah. So that is all that I have, you guys. They really didn't, they didn't, they really didn't give me a whole lot this, uh, this week. Like, I really thought that I was going to have a lot of juicy shit to talk about. I don't really have a whole lot, but I did what I could with what I had. So that is all that I have. <laughs> hey, 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 Patty working that thing. So that is all that I have, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in for this video. Really quickly, if you guys have not checked out my video about my current weight loss, go ahead, head over to my YouTube channel, check that out. <clears throat> okay. Like I said, y'all can, like I said, because it's been real. I ain't, ain't no fake, ain't no phony shit over here. You know what I'm saying? I put my receipts up there, so y'all saw my receipts. Also, if not tonight, tomorrow, I will uh, have my vlog up, and it actually is. Stop that. Stop that, <laughs> All right, sis. Um, and, you know, kind of, you know, take you through some stuff. And even, like I said, I, I did some meal prep in that vlog, and actually I have a recipe for, um my uh frittata cups so you know like i said y'all gotta watch the vlogs y'all get a little something something in them but that's all i have please rate comment subscribe and share i will see you guys next sunday same time same place peace